All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the uh, newest Zompire monster box. I am excited. The last few of these have been fantastic. Um, the themes for this month were uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, number two, uh, Cannibal Holocaust, which, um, you know, if you haven't seen it, uh, <laughs> one of the most offensive movies ever made. That's for sure. Uh, Silent Hill and uh, Death Proof. All fun films. Um, before I get into that, though, <clears throat> I would like to give a little uh, shout out to uh, Wet Movie One. Um, the last few live streams he did, he uh, gave me a little shout out love on it, so it would be kind of a dick move if I did not give some love back. So if you haven't checked his channel out, super cool guy. Uh, does a lot of uh, cool video. Uh, hoarding up things. Uh, he'll go to a lot of like thrift stores, find really awesome uh, movie treasure. Um, he'll do really cool live streams where he just talks about movies um, and gets a lot of really cool autographs like I do. So um, if you haven't checked this channel out, go check it out. Give him a little subscribe and all that fun stuff. So go check his channel out. Super cool guy. Uh, I approve thoroughly of him. Yes. Anyway, that was my awkward uh, shout out thing. I did it. Um, so, without further ado, let's uh, get into this box and uh, see what's inside it. Oh, come on. Now, I was assured <laughs> there is no Bob Elmore autograph in this thing. So, I'm going to tell you right there from a, a sales standpoint, that is a, a definite selling point to me on this. So, because... I was hesitant to buy this because I think I ended up with like four Bob Elmore autographs. Uh, when I hear the name Bob Elmore, it does leave a sting. So let's see here. It's our little cheat sheet. I'll get in that later. Uh, well, there is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre air freshener thing. Does it smell like dead meat? Let's see. Uh, it has a strawberry scent, which, I don't know, I mean, if you squeeze a bunch of strawberries, it looks like dead people stuff. I don't know, I'm trying. Uh, there's a envelope. We'll get to that later. Uh, not a big fan of Legos, but that's kind of cool. I've seen these uh, a lot. Different people posting about it, but like I said, not a Legos fan, so not my bag, but it is cool. And let's see, got some little stickers. All right. Uh, this little Freddy there. And there. And also there. So let's see, we've got Okay, that's cool. Uh that is a death proof patch. That is actually pretty awesome. So if you have a nice little uh jacket with patches on them, this uh would go Pretty snazzy on that, so that's rad. And then, let's see. <clears throat> Our print is definitely Silent Hill. The lovely little Silent Hill nurse. Is the autograph from Cannibal Holocaust? I guess let's uh, let's see. Yep, it is. Uh, that's cool. Am I gonna remember what this guy is? Hell no. I don't remember any of the actors in that film. I just remember the lady on the wooden thing. Um, yeah. So here's the autograph right there.
Oh, and there's a uh, metal plate right there. I'm assuming that's the radio station in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. So there's our Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 parts. So uh, another great box from Zompire. That was fun. Uh, not a big Lego fan, so I don't know. I'll probably do something with that one. Um, but other than that, uh, I dug it. Like the uh, Cannibal Holocaust autograph. Uh, let's see here. Text Chain the Massacre 2, the radio station. There we go. So I was right. Um, Silent Hill, Jesse Lundberg. Um, yeah, so I definitely dug that art piece. That looks really good, I gotta say, on that one. And let's see here. The celebrity autograph comes from the most banned movie of all time. Carl York, who played Alan Yates in the 1980 Gorefest film, was kind enough to supply his autograph to us. Alan Yates was the main protagonist in the film who certainly got what he deserved. This autograph was obtained by a zompire and 100% authentic. Which, uh, yep, it's got the uh, zompire authenticity thing. So. Cool. Well, that's my Zompire box. Uh, till the next one, um, I've been enjoying these. And again, uh, these have made a great... Uh, it's definitely filled that void that uh, Fright Crate left because, uh, let's face it, at this point, you are not getting that damn box. I've uh, come to terms with this. And uh, it's, it's sad, but, you know, it was a fun run. So... Um, but yeah, let me just kind of throw it out there. If you have not been getting into Zompire, definitely check it out because again, with that, um, you know, kind of void left by Fright Crate, they definitely do a good job of filling it. Just because like with Zobi and uh, Bam, I mean, it's definitely like, you know what you're pretty much getting. With the Zompire boxes, it kind of goes all over the place. Um, and again, it would definitely be cool to maybe see some, you know, resin bus uh, kind of trickle their way into the boxes somehow. That'd be kind of nice. Um, yeah, cool. That's it guys. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you all later. And again, subscribe to my channel because it's cool. I think maybe. I don't know. That's being kind of dicky. All right. Goodbye.